Hello everyone, this is Armin Keshavarzi from Diaco LTD Corporation. Here we want to talk about the statistical simulation based on Microsoft Visio VBA. All we know the VBA is stand for Visual Basic Application, Visual Basic for Application, and it's a programming environment for Microsoft Office package. In this video film, we want to talk about the process that uh, comes. It's come from my imagination of the simple restaurant, and I have a little simple task here so we want to simulate that uh, simulate this uh, process by assuming the statistical simulation Monte Carlo uh, first of all I should apologize for my bad speaking English so please excuse me about that and second I should say that there is this simulation functionality is uh, not so good but it's a ver very good uh, model for learning simulation and uh, VBA programming in the Microsoft package so here first of all uh, the entrance in the process is the exponential distribution function and the uh, task here is all followed by normal distribution functions and here in the decision we have yes or no decisions uh, that's the probability of the yes function uh, yes um, road is showed by the blue of the decision shape so um, uh, let's first uh, start the simulation and because the simulation takes uh, minutes so we talk about the process and defining the process while the simulation is running so if we go to the and uh, before that let's see the data shapes first okay here's the data shapes and I assume the cost, time average, and time uh, standard deviation. Cost is a constant and defined for all the tasks and for events there are zero and for decisions two. There are all zeros and for tasks are there are all um, more than zero. For a time average the entrance is the exponential, exponential uh, distribution function with the mean of for time average of four minutes and the time standard deviation of two and for a task the it's a variable and it's can be a one uh, it can be a two or it can be a 50, 50 minutes and with this under division of five we can change it and the this uh, I should say that this program is designed that so can be cha can change all the process and the data but uh, it have some mm, restriction like uh, exponential and a normal uh, distribution function and we haven't more so if you want the advanced simulation stuff you should uh, learn this VBA and program it by yourself and or buy the package of the simulation that uh, is in the market so it's not by a Diego corporation l right now but uh, it is available by other corporation that uh, um, that produce that simulation stuff okay uh, second of all the in the decisions we are uh, we here we just have the yes or no decision making so there is not uh, more than two ways uh, out of my shapes uh, you should note that when you change you want to change the process you should note that you have these two restrictions okay let's run the video and see how it's work we go to the full screen mode and we run the simulation it's asked for the duration of simulation in a minutes so I put three minutes and we should know that this simulation is scaled down the minute to the seconds so the simulation runs in a minute and the results are all in the minutes that rep represent the times so it's a three minutes that simulation runs and it shows 180 yeah 180 minutes in a real real world so this process runs for 180 minutes and in the simulation stuff is just three minutes so if we press ok and it's working the customers gets in and the first total entrance is one and it's looking for a free table if the table is free goes sitting on it and order the food and after that the waiter give him a service 
that's uh, can be a eat uh, borrow him a food and he ate a food and maybe uh, all of uh, drink a tea or a cup of wa couple of coffee or wine or so on that's a uh, that's why we use the sub process here because I don't know exactly what's going on in this sub process so it's a black box just giving a service and after that he received a bill bills so he pay for bills and getting out from the process uh, if the customers comes in and see no table free he go to decide if he want to wait for free free table or he wants to go out so this is a probability of uh, 0.3 for accepting and uh, this is a property of 0.7 for getting out from here okay what's this icons tells this uh, the icons defi definitions are here the circle is showed by the time average that I put to the uh, input simulation stuff and in the data shape I put a duration and uh, I put the time average and if it's the uh, 60 minutes or more it's a full blow uh, circle and if it's near to the zero it's a black circle and the in between with these two numbers it can be a quarter of the time or it can be a half we don't have a half of hour here we just have the quarter and the cost is shows by the flag if the cost is more than fifty uh, dollar it's represented by the red flag and if it's uh, near to the zero it's represented by a yellow uh, green flag sorry and if it's between zero and fifty dollar it's represented by yellow flags okay down here we have some boxes that shows you some uh, information that uh, are related to the after simulating so if the simulation is done these are all gets the numbers and I these boxes that use the data graphic for from the data ships uh, to they are all updating right now but it's not completed so the total entrance is under the event start the total exit is under the exit start and the blow of the each shape we have the total cost that is take to this task and the average time that this ta tax takes in the simulation so okay the simulation is ended and we can see the total cost of this um, box have 28 dollar and the average of this high cost and high average time is 400 dollar and the nine minutes it's a uh, simulated nine minutes yeah that's uh, pretty good but I think it's a uh, little be less than my average time so it's not good simulating run so we should we all know that when we simulate we should run it more and more and a couple of times to get a uh, better data and have analyzed them so this is a learning video and we just run it in once okay in the box below we have the total time simulation is 180 second in the simulation run and it assumed 180 minutes in the real uh, process goes on the total cost of, cost of system is 1430 dollar and the total customers that are still in the system are 40 so there are 40 customers are still in the system so the system should run and these customers should get out and uh, here we have the average time being system per customer is 100 and point one uh, so it's a low two uh, time it's you can see the color of my box get ye uh, get uh, white because the time is a little more and the cost is green and because it's good for uh, each customer that have forty three dollar it's assumption I will show you in the data graphic I assume that if the time average time is more than a uh, specified time is color be changed and we can learn it in the more detail in uh, future videos okay here we have a total table shortage uh, it's uh, the 
it's a couple of time that the customer gets in and see no table free so I n want to know that how many times customers see no table and it, if it is a lot I should add some table to my mm, restaurant and the total customer loss is 4 that I lost 4 customer in the uh, 33 customer in total entrance and the total exit of customers is 19 okay with the bottom here we can clear all of this stuff before that I will show you the data sheet that change it for each box here show that oh yeah uh, cost is one I define uh, define that time average I define that cost total simulation and uh, program uh, calculated time standard division I define that total entrance uh, simulation program enter these two okay we can see that all of them is changed and before we go into the pro uh, codes we run we can see here for a data graphic that I use to create this video that's a lot and very great to see that how they work in the future okay for this time I can just tell you uh, how I code that in a general because it uh, takes too many time to uh, I define them in a detail you uh, I should uh, sleep uh, I should uh, break down and uh, each time I should define you a simple code so that you can learn how we will work let's see how uh, this code is uh, for that we should go to the file and run the developer mode okay we can go here and go to the customer ribbon customize ribbon and tick the developer or just to uh, advance and tick the developer mode in the general in the bottom I said okay and the developer tab is coming and I go to the visual basic so if you double click here because I uh, run this before and it's open right now but if you can see the code you should double click on this document here you can see the variables that define it in a in this code so these are the global variables and some variables in the functions uses as a local variables here uh, first thing I do I get some input from my customer for my user and put it in a duration time here is a first bug I should note that this code have some bugs and I don't debug them because we want I want to learn uh, VB to get uh, with you guys so after we learn some VB together we can debug these uh, bugs I have it in this code so the first bug is here if the user press the cancel button and uh, the algorithm shows us a bug so we will debug it later uh, after we get the runtime I uh, we should go find the start event so we can use this uh, place uh, as a customer entrance so customers comes in this place uh, so this is a place of the entrance and I uh, try to find this place with this code I go through all shapes here and if the it's a sort event shapes I say that this is my sort okay after that I go for generating my first customer so this code generates a customer that is the my first customer that's entered the restaurant so uh, I should say that this is the second bug and uh, we don't need this code we can omit that so after we learn some VB uh, we modify this code to go through uh, go to the main loop here we can use, use this code to generating our first customer too so this uh, this uh, code that should be deleted okay in the main loop uh, I define the initialization some initializations gets here and the variable that uh, we needed to run or loop is defined here after that our main loop comes the we use the do while loop 
so that uh, if the lapse time of uh, running the algorithms is less than the duration defined by the user we go to uh, this loop will continue uh, okay after that uh, we, uh, first thing we do the generating the customers so customers are generating him based on a exponential distribution function and if the customer gen generation elapsed time is become more than arrival random number that's uh, produced here we produce another customer so this is a base uh, this generate random generator use exponential distribution to generate a random arrival and we produce customers by exponential distribution okay after the customer generated each time we loop we should update our customers so for each customer from zero uh, customer one in the coding style is defined by zero so this is not a count of customers and that's why I get a customers counts minus one and it's an array type and, and I will talk to you about this later so in the con computer language we always start at zero okay uh, from the customer zero through all one customers that are generator generated uh, until now the elapsed time location is getted so I see if the elapsed time that the customer gets in one shape is more than some random number which is a normal distribution function we will update our customers location that we will uh, talk about this later so uh, I should tell you that uh, I use uh, some functions here and these functions are really critical to this algorithm and the most critical function is moving to next shape that's uh, defined by random variable normal random variable above the move time rand and if this move time rand is more than elapsed uh, some elapsed time we moving to the next shape so uh, these are the local uh, variables that define it in this function and we have some rows if the uh, rows is more than one is if the rows between two shapes is more than one like here we have more than one road uh, from one shape to another shapes so uh, we have uh, uh, two roads here. Uh, I just simply assume that we have uh, maximum two roads and if we want uh, to have more roads we ha should uh, add some codes to this algorithm so we will get that later maybe because it makes a more advanced algorithm and it may uh, become a little harder for uh, learning uh, stuff so here uh, we uh, decide if the road is more than one we go through this code until uh, I think where is next six uh, else okay we go through this code until here if the outgoing con connector from origin shape is not no no that's not uh here a random number no here that's uh, there if the road is one so uh here if the roads between two shapes is one we use this algorithm so it's so simple yeah if it's a uh, no road like my end shape here we don't have any road after this shape so we do nothing so the most hard thing for moving one sh from one shape to another is uh, when we have more than one road and we should decide which road we choose to go okay here we just I'm to show you guys the general concepts behind this algorithm and if you like this uh, and if you like to learn VBA in the Microsoft Visio environment uh, we will continue to produce uh, produce these videos uh, which all about the simulations and the VBA and if you 
try to learn the VBA in the Visio Microsoft in the Microsoft Visio uh, you will have the capability for uh, extend that in the VBA Excel so there is no big difference if you guys learn the VBA in the Microsoft Visio environment you definitely can uh, program in the VBA Excel so thank you for your attentions and I hope you like this video. Thank you.